It's an interesting sort of slippery slope kind of thinking that takes place uh, with some people when you start questioning logic and sort of start saying that <clears throat> non-contradiction is just a tool, it's not an absolute or identity or the excluded middle, that kind of thing. Um, that the slippery slope, that if you accept that, then you've, you're basically going to abolish reality. You're, you, have, you either accept those three rules or you're a solipsist. Um, it's, that's a completely unjustified point of view, if you ask me, but it, it astounds me, the number of people that actually seem to think that way. It's an all-or-nothing thing. Um, it's almost as though people... Those three axioms have worked their way into our common way of thinking to the extent that it's very difficult for a lot of people to think outside of that. Um, outside of, you know, identity or certainly outside of even non-contradiction. Like, you sort of say, well, logic isn't absolute. Logic isn't flawless. Oh my God, solipsism. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is it that, that has gotten the idea into people's heads that that it's either all or nothing when it comes to this. Oh yes, logic itself says that. Um, I don't know, I've heard of being blinded by science. I guess a lot of people are blinded by logic. 